Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got the old Mongo Man out here in Kenny's garage Sunday morning, Labor Day weekend. And, uh, well, I've been a little under the weather here recently, so I haven't got a whole lot done. Still been posting every day, though. Have got the shorts up every day. Uh, and if you guys are watching those shorts, you definitely have a pretty good idea what we're into around here. But uh, I wanted to give you a little update here this morning, let you know what's going on around Mongo's garage and Kenny's garage. And uh, that way you can keep up with us. I know there's uh, always multiple things happening at the same time so uh, let's talk about what's going on huh we'll start right here and this is the truck formerly known as wheezy uh i don't know what we're going to call it now but it is no longer an obs it is still the obs cab with obs interior but as you can tell on the skins on the outside of this thing it is no longer an obs this is the bed off of the latest parts of truck that kj bought um, and as you can see somebody got creative there and screwed some patch panels on it. It's got some uh, holes down there in the bottom. All in all, though, that bed is savable. These are actually the front fenders off of my Bronco. Uh, I have new fenders for the Bronco, so these are original fenders off of one of the parts Broncos I bought, actually the one that almost put me in the clink. And, of course, here's that engine that they put in. They finally got everything running. Still a couple things to button up on that. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, they got a full bull nose front end put on this thing. And how you do these bull nose front ends on uh, the OBSs, at least how they did it, I should say. This is the bull nose filler panel here. So as you can see up underneath it here, it's just tech screwed to the original rad support. And then you really can't see it, but the wings, so here out, is bull nose and here in as you can see on the bottom there because of that giant radiator is still obs there's the original obs wings laying there but this one now has the uh, bull nose wings on it and as you can see here now they are working on getting the obs front bumper mounted to it here it is from the driver's side so yeah the boys have been real busy on this one trying to get it to a point where uh they can cruise it down the road and get everything set up and figured out. I kind of like it in its multi-color platform that it's currently wearing. Looks mean. Now we're over to BOV1. As you can see, BOV1 is missing that driver's side fender. Uh, Seth has that on his truck. Nothing has happened under the hood. But I have been kind of busy inside. Been trying to figure out where all the electronics are going to go. Most of that stuff will go underneath of the center console. Here is the overhead center console, and as you can see there, it's got an aux beam auxiliary controller in it, as well as the uh, President McKinley CB radio, a red accent light, and a uh, LED light over here, an interior light underneath. So yeah, I've been pretty busy with that, and on the front of that is two uh, red accent lights. And then that will get a shelf that bolts from here to there, and have a little shelf kit. Here's the radio that I have gone with on this machine. It is going to be just a straight up Bluetooth radio that the phone will sit into. The phone actually sits right into this little guy right here. And it will, you have to take the face off, but it will tuck away inside of there. I really like that setup. We're going to use this uh, kicker sub for uh, our lows. The highs will come from those foreign speakers there on the B pillar. going to be one right there as well. And then, of course, there'll be a set of uh, six and a halfs in the door. Uh, Pioneer amplifier. There's the aux beam controller laying there. A couple other things, but yeah. So you can definitely see that uh, trying to get this stuff all laid out. There's my fuse box, the aux beam controller. Um, what I want to do is I think I'm going to get a piece of quarter-inch aluminum and uh, give me a flat floor right here inside of the center console so that I have something to bolt all that stuff to. Trying to figure out what we're going to do for uh, boots, shifter boots here. These are going to be sub boots, so these are the boots under the uh, su uh, under the console. That's the main shifter boot for over the console there. Here is the console with the boot holes cut out in it. Haven't got much anything done to it either. But like I said, I've been under the weather this week. Uh, I had training class, so Really haven't had the opportunity to get much done. As we make our way over here to KJ's side of the shop, we can see a bullnose radiator laying on the floor. And on the engine stand is a 351 Windsor. 
This is the engine out of Pam, the Super Cab Bullnose 8 foot bed. This engine had a severe engine oil leak that KJ had tried to fix. Uh, we thought it was actually this china wall back here, this right here, but it ended up not being that. I'll show you here in a second if I can find it what it actually was. There's your timing set, oil pan, the uh, empty engine bay, a bench full of parts. So here's one of the problems. If you look right underneath that torque converter, see if I can get you in there. That is a broken flex plate bolt. So the flex plate on these, of course, bolts to the crank. And that crank, those are open holes. They are not blind holes. So that was likely uh, a source of the leak but the biggest source is missing there and you actually can see parts of it still kind of hanging out that rear main seal was leaking like a sieve so kj is off this morning getting parts to put this back together he is going to do a new water pump new timing set gear and chain um, i think his plans are to put headers on this engine clean it all up get it painted good and then this will uh, live in Pam for the duration. Not terrible inside, I've seen cleaner, I've seen dirtier. Water pump. So yeah, boys have been busy out here. Uh, like I said, one more time, I haven't been out here a whole lot this week. So uh, they have really been left to their own accord and, uh, as you can tell, have got quite a bit done. Pam is under the knife. Uh, KJ hopes to get this thing back together quickly, as well as uh, Seth wants to get Wheezy back together. As far as uh, the Bronco and me, well, that's going to take a while, right? No sense of rushing it at this point. All right, guys, uh, that's all I got for you this week. I hope that uh, that's helpful. little update on Pam, BOV1, and Wheezy. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon. The Mongol Man is out.